Mina, oh hi Algazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 65 today, and I'm just focusing on the very first phrase in the very first verse. Praise is awaiting you, O God in Zion. I'm wondering how often that's true. When you bless your meal, uh, this is definitely a message towards the Christians, because it says that praise goes to God out of Zion, and I'm wondering, does it? When you thank, when you bless the meal, do you actually mean it, or is it just this rote routine thing? When you thank God for the day, do you mean it, or is it just kind of okay that you know morning prayers, whatever, you know, or thanking God for the day past, evening prayers, you know, prayers before bedtime, same old stuff, whatever. You know, when you're doing when you're doing your prayer time at church, when the pastor's praying over the message, when he's blessing you, the people. Are you really cooperating in that, or is it just, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do? You know, kind of wish I wasn't here right now. Is the, Praise should be going to God from his, from his believers, from the Christians, from his sons and daughters, from those who believe in him. We should be praising him. Zion should be blessing the Lord. And my question is, do you? Do you do that? Do you bless the Lord? When things are going well, when things are going right, when something happened the way it should or even better than you anticipated or expected, do you thank God for it? Not only, not just the routine rote stuff like I was talking about, do you thank God for that? Is thanking Him and praising Him a regular part of your life? Praise should be going up to God regularly from Zion. So if we... The Christians, Zion, his people, are not praising him. Something is really, really wrong because he is the God who gave us life. He's the God who sustains us. He's the God who gives us the next heartbeat, the next breath. All good and wonderful things come from the God of light in whom there is no shadow of turning. It's a, that's a very close quote to what's in the book of James. You want to know where? By all means, Google it and look it up. When things are going well, when something goes right, we should be praising Him. Even when things are rough, even when things aren't going exactly the way we planned or expected, even then we should be praising Him. But aside from that, we should definitely be praising Him for the good and positive things in our lives. And my question to you, church, is are you doing that? Are you doing that? Is praise going up to God from Zion like it should be. So today's a bit of a challenge and an exhortation. It's something that I want to see the church get right. It's something I want to see any one of my viewers who are Christians, I want to see that be something you're getting right because God deserves all of our praise, all of our worship. And actually there are some personal benefits to us when we praise Him. And I'm not going to go into any of that. that that's another message for another time. Or maybe I'll just let you look that one up and discover that one on your own. And of course, don't I would encourage you not to just take my word for it. Please do look it up. Please do a little bit of research on it. But praise, for the last time, praise should be going to God from Zion. If it's not, there's a problem. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.